Oh, good morning everybody. What's going on? It's your boy FaZe Rug and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and I woke up in my old house. I'm actually in my brother's room right now. So Brandon, if you're watching this, don't get mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm not a Suns fan. This is my brother's room, my brother's old room. I was going to sleep in my room, but I have no mattress. It's at the new house. But the reason I slept in this house is because I had a basketball game last night at 9, which we won for my boy Brandon because he wasn't there. He's in Cleveland. He's going to go to the finals, so he's lucky. And he's going to hit 2 million subscribers today. So, Brandon, congratulations. You know that I love you. But, yeah, yesterday we won our basketball game for Brandon. Our new house is like 25 minutes away, and this house is like 2 minutes away from where we play basketball. And I was way too dead to go drive to the new house, so I just crashed here, and it felt great. I missed this house so much. I'm still happy that we have this house. Like, if we sold it, I would for sure be, like, super, super emotional and super sad, but we still have this house, so whenever I want to come by and sleep here, I still could. Anyways, hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's a brand new phase rug video. You guys already know. Tell your friends, family, all that stuff. Anytime I upload a video, I post on Snapchat. I'm like, OMG, new phase rug video. Tell everybody. Go tell your friends, your aunts, your uncles, cousins, all that stuff, because you guys already know it's about to be lit but man it feels great waking up in this house I feel like my brother right now in his room Let's see what's going on outside look at where Bosley's sleeping oh my god Hey, Bosley. By the way, guys, I'm using my mom's camera right now, which used to be my old camera because my other camera, my current one, is broken and it's at the new house. So if I wanted to use my other camera, I had to drive 25 minutes away and then come back here. So I'm like, my mom's camera's already here, so I'm gonna use this. So if you guys could tell like a quality difference, it's because I'm using my mom's. Mom. Yeah. It's time to wake up. It's literally 12. What are you doing still sleeping? Oh my God. Look, Bosley wants you to wake up. Hey, oh my god, I look like such a mess. This is what I look like when I wake up, but I'm about to shower and get ready and all that stuff because I, I can't look like this in front of the camera, but I do miss my brother. He's been gone for like over a week now and man, I miss him so much, but hopefully he's having a good time and he's hitting 2 million subscribers today. So Brandon, huge congrats to you. Like you work really hard every single day and you definitely do deserve 2 million subscribers. So I love you, man. All right, guys, I changed my mind. Actually, I'm going to the new house right now to shower and get ready just so I can be there when I'm done. I was gonna do it here, but then I remembered my shampoo, body wash, all my shower stuff is at the other house. So it's a struggle, but we're gonna head over there. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'm home, baby. I'm home. Oh my gosh, I always hate recording when I first wake up without showering and getting ready. It's the worst thing ever, but you know, I'm that close with you guys where you guys can see what I look like when I wake up. Ooh, let's get it. Anybody here? Hello! For my brother's two mil celebration, since he's in Cleveland, he's not here, we got him this. It takes so long to get to my room from downstairs. Compared to the other house, I'd get to my room in like five seconds. Now it takes like a whole minute. Gotta get my computer set up today so I can edit here for the first time. Guys, it's so convenient having your own bathroom and shower in your own room. Like, I've never had this before, so it's pretty sick. Full body mirror, these sweats are so big. I don't know why I'm wearing them, but I'm gonna go get ready right now, guys. Wait, are you actually kidding me right now? Are you kidding? Yup, our water doesn't work. No way! Are you kidding me? I drove all the way here to shower and everything, but our water doesn't work. <laughs> no, none of our sinks, nowhere. I tried like four different bathrooms, none of them work. What kind of luck is that? I was literally just about to brush my teeth and then hop in the shower. The sink didn't work, the shower didn't work. I'm mad. I'm heated. I'm a little bit heated. Not gonna lie, today has not been my day so far. Okay, I already woke up late. I was in like a grumpy mood when I woke up and I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me go to the new house. I'll feel better. Let me shower. Let me like revive. And this is what I come home to? No water? Oh! I think I'm just gonna take a shower in the pool. All right, so the video that I posted two days ago of what my cousin and I found in this attic right here is actually crazy. Like me just standing under the attic right now gives me the chills because of what we found. We found a cross and blessing oil and I said I would contact the homeowner, the last homeowner who lived here to ask him if he knew anything about it. And I tried contacting him yesterday and he didn't answer. And a lot of you guys were commenting like, oh, what happened to that, what happened to that? So I'm gonna try calling him right now again on camera and asking him if he knows anything about the cross in this attic because 
that's really freaky and I didn't want to sleep here last night so we're gonna give him a call right now and I'm wearing a hat because you know like I couldn't shower actually I'm not even gonna wear a hat whatever okay we're gonna give him a call and the best part about this is that he keeps up with my videos so like I'm surprised he didn't contact me about it but hopefully he answers Hello. Hey Roger, it's Brian. Hey Brian, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? All right. Um, I don't, I don't know if you've been keeping up with my latest videos. Have you? I. That's funny. I watched um, the latest one. I think was what the the bottle flipping. Oh, you saw that one? I just saw it this morning. Listen, um, I'm uh, not trying to destroy your old house. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my house anymore, dude. That's it's yours. You destroy it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I had a question the other day. Okay, do you know about the attic, like in the hallway upstairs? Uh huh. I don't know about that cross and that oil, man. You <laughs> wait. You don't know. Like you didn't put no. it there. No. Uh, let me ask my wife, but I don't. I've never. I never had seen that before. When was the last time you went up there before moving out? Jeez. Oh, Years. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's so you know, scary. I never went up there, to be honest. Yeah, because, um, you know, for my videos, I like exploring a lot. A lot of my fans, like, enjoy that. So then I went up there, and I turn, and the first thing I see is the cross and blessing oil. So, I don't know. I have no idea, but that's the reason why I didn't sleep here last night. I was scared. <laughs> Do you know what the... Did you see... Sorry, she's on the phone. He found a cross and some oil. Yeah, he found a cross and some oil in the attic outside Tracy's room. She doesn't know. No I'm way. That's my daughter. That was oh. her room. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't oh. think she would go up there. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's high up. I had to bring the ladder and everything, but... Yeah, no, a lot of my fans were wondering, like, if I could give you a call just to ask you about it. And I was planning on doing it. So, I don't know. That's that's pretty creepy, but you have no idea about it. Um, your wife doesn't, so... No. Oh, that's so scary, man. And I pers I obviously didn't put anything up there. Like, that was my first ever don't time going... good luck? You, yeah, honestly, like, it could sound creepy, but then at the same time, it could mean it's, like, good luck. You know, like, like the house yeah. is blessed, maybe. I mean, yeah, there's nothing really to be scared of. It was just, like, a like a weird coincidence. It's, like, going up there, and it's, like, the first thing I see is a cross and blessing oil. But, hey, that could mean good luck. You're right. Yeah. I'll ask my son, though. Maybe, you know, when he was there by himself, when the, we were out of town or something, his friends did it or something. I think it's safe, Brian. I think you're safe. Thank you so much, Roger. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Call me anytime, man. All right, will do. Bye. All right. All right, well, he doesn't know anything about the cross, but he did make a good point. That could mean it's good luck, but I don't know. I'm so scared. Like, right now, the cross and blessing oil is in there. It's up there, and I'm not going back up there again. That's so scary, though. Like, it could mean good luck, but it's also still scary. So there's your guys' answer. He didn't put it up there. His wife said she didn't put it up there, so they're going to ask their son and daughter, and then he's gonna give me a call back, but, but from what I've heard and read, um, is that if you're haunted, like, at an old house and you move, supposedly the ghost is supposed to follow you, which is why there have already been some creepy things that's happened in this house, but, you know, I don't wanna believe it. I don't wanna say, like, oh, there's a ghost in our house. I think Papa Rug is here. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> What's up? Oh my God. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I was looking for it. <laughs> I tried sneaking up on you. What are you doing? Um, nothing, just recording. Um, so about the water, what, what's going on? I came all the way here just to shower, feel fresh. I turn on the water, nothing. Okay, I went over there to the studio and I give him my... Uh -oh. oh! I think I could shower with that no. tip of water. I gave him my... They need a copy of my driver license. Mm. So then I give it to him and then they, she called in front of me and she called the person to go ahead and turn on the water, but... It's it's like taking long to... Or it takes long to turn on? No, it shouldn't. If he's in the area, it's gonna turn on. He got the message. Okay, good. Because I was gonna go to Noli's house to go shower. I called Roger and I asked him, because did you see what we found in the attic? The hallway attic, not the one in my room. Oh. And then I told him I was gonna call the last homeowner to see if like he knew anything about it. He said no, but he said he thinks it's like good luck. Oh, is it for good luck? I mean, well, he didn't put it there. Us. He didn't put it there. His wife said she had no idea about it, but he said it could mean that it's good luck. So, well, hopefully it's good luck. But don't you think that's still scary? I know. It's up there right now still because I didn't want to touch it. I didn't bring it down or anything. Don't, don't touch it. I think. Really? Yeah, that's not a good idea. 
Okay, well, hopefully nothing Maybe scary happens. Maybe it's not meant to be touched though. Yeah, I forgot to tell them, yesterday uh, the interior designers came over so we can pick furniture, bedroom sets, living room furniture, couches Five and all that. Hours. Five hours and we didn't pick anything. Like, furniture shopping is actually a lot harder and like super stressful. She said, she said some people took a year to yeah. pick the furniture. So, I don't know how long it's going to take us to like complete this house. Like, I think fully. we picked our room. Oh, you did? Yeah. You guys picked your room set? Yeah, but well, we haven't decided, but we're gonna decide tomorrow on it for sure. I, I was on the computer for like three hours straight trying to find like a perfect bed set because I want my bedroom to look like amazing, like one of a kind, so. This is for life, remember. This exactly, that's what I'm saying. I want, it, I want it to be perfect, so guys, just be patient on like the room tour, the house tour when we're all furnished and like fully settled in, but it's gonna happen. We're gonna pick some nice furniture. You want a shower, right? Huh? Just go jump in the pool. That's what I said. I said, let me just shower in the pool. Yeah, just shower in the pool. It was actually way colder earlier today, and then now it's hot. Out of nowhere, it just gets super hot. Go jump in. You jump in. You, oh, you don't know how to swim, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna buy uh, floaters and uh, <laughs> life jackets. Maybe, maybe teaching my dad how to swim. I did teaching my mom. Maybe teaching my dad one day. Yeah, a life jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Look guys, the water bottle is still up there from my video yesterday. I have to get it down. But I think I'm gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy. A lot of you guys were curious as to why there was a cross and blessing oil up in the attic, as was I. Like, I definitely had to get an answer from the last homeowner, so shout out to Roger. Thank you so much for clearing that up. I mean, he didn't really clear it up. He didn't put it up there, so I'm like, I'm still confused as to how it got up there. There's no way it could just randomly appear. He said that he never went up there himself. He said he had people going up there for like service and stuff. So I don't know if they did it or like if it just randomly appeared. I don't know, but there's your guys' answer. A lot of you guys want me to call him. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and look at this beautiful view. I think I say that in all my videos. I see a lot of comments saying, rug, you're bragging. Like you're bragging about the new house. But I'm honestly not, I'm just super happy and like I just wanna share it with you guys and like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be living in a house like this. I would not be waking up to a view like this every day. So I'm not bragging of course at all. I'm like one that like wants to motivate all of my viewers and all of my supporters to do what I did and like just work super hard. And if you do work hard, I promise you guys, you will see results. Like it's not like you're gonna work hard, work hard, work hard and nothing's gonna happen. If you work hard and you put your mind to something, you will become successful and I promise you guys that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications to be notified when I do upload every single day. And other than that, it's been Rug and I'm out. Peace.